Hello and welcome. In the last video, I demonstrated how we can leverage Power Automate to dynamically and continuously load tasks from Excel to Planner seamlessly. In this follow-up video, I will show you how we can load a task from Planner to Power BI for analysis and to build visualization. So let's get started. So in the last video in the make.powerautomate.com, we built this business task flow. And when I click on that, we can see all the details and then we have the run history. So we have quite a lot of succeeded run status, which is absolutely cool. So when I come to the planner.cloud.microsoft, we can see all the task we actually loaded dynamically coming from this excel file which is resident in our one drive for business so when i come back here we can see we have so many tasks like manage account payable conduct variant analysis and so on and so forth now when i scroll down i can see that one of the tasks is now marked as completed the monitor cash flow which is cool and then when i go to the top some of them are in progress like this manage account payable and when i check this this is not started but of course we can always change all of this as we choose so that is what we have done in the last video now we want to go ahead and automate things in order to be able to load the data into the power bi for analysis and to build our visualization how do we do that it is absolutely straightforward so just follow me as we go on so i'm going to come back to the make.powerautomate.com and then we want to go to the my flows I want to create a new flow now. I want to create a scheduled cloud flow this time around. And I'm going to call this on planner to power bi and I'm going to maintain this run this flow starting today 10 a.m. It doesn't matter and click on create. So we have the new designer again. I'm going to switch to the old designer. So I'm going to switch without saving. Click on that. And then I can add my steps. Now, the first step I want to add is to list all the tasks within my planner. So I'm going to look for the list task action. And there we go. So we have this list my task, which is not going to work. And then we have this list task. So click on this. And then we're going to provide the group ID and the plan ID. So again, click on the Chevron. And then we're going to choose the business underscore task underscore plan, which is exactly what we have here. And then for the plan ID, still the same name business task plan and then we're going to click on new step so after listing all the tasks within our planner we're going to go ahead and create a file in our sharepoint folder so i'm going to come here to this tab and i've got this marketing sharepoint site and then i've got this document library and within the document i've got this planner and some other folders so we want to actually land our data in form of a json format in this location so i'm going to come back here and then i can look for the create file action so we can create in the one drive for business we can also create in the sharepoint which is what i'm going to do in this video so click on that and then we can provide a site address for the path file name file content so for the site address i'm going to choose the marketing sharepoint site so click on that and then for the folder path i'm going to choose the shared document because the folder is within this um shared document as we can see in the url so come back here and then choose the shared document and then i've got all of this folder so i will choose the planner folder exactly what we have here so we can go on and provide the file name so i'm going to call this one uh, my let's just call it um task data to power bi and very importantly we're going to specify the format so we want to actually store this as a javascript object notation format json format so i'm going to type in json and this is the best and the most easiest way to be able to load the data into the power bi for further analysis so we have this dot json and then for the file content i want to get the body of this list so i'm going to come to the dynamic content and look for the body and click on that so now very importantly i'm going to click on this ellipses for the create file action or um, steps and then we want to go to settings now we want to make sure that when a new data or maybe a new task come into this location it is dynamically added into the json data and even when we come to excel here and then we add more tags into this environment everything is actually flowing from here into our power there so i'm going to come here and very importantly click on this allow chunking now this is going to be turned off and this is going to actually enable our data to be dynamic as soon as we have more data new task is going to flow into our json data and everything works fine so i'm going to make sure this is turned off and click on done 
So once that is sorted, I can go ahead and save this flow and this should be saved. So we can see we recommend you test this flow. So I'm going to, for the first time, click on the test functionality and I'm going to trigger the manual text flow and click on the test and I can click on the run flow and there we go. Your flow run successfully started. So we can go ahead and monitor it. So I'm going to click on done and I'm going to come back here. As soon as I come back here, and there we go. We can see the task data to powerbi.json, which just arrived in some few seconds. Absolutely cool. Now I'm going to come back here and go to the my flows. I can see the planner to power bi flow name. I can see the status as test succeeded absolutely wonderful now we can come here and then we can because we don't have the connector to get this into the power there straight away i'm going to click on this ellipses and then i'm going to go to the more details details and i want to go to the more details on this side and then i want to copy the path of this object so i'm going to copy that into the clipboard and at the same time i'm going to click on the ellipses again and then i'm going to download as a normal file so this is going to be in my downloads as a json data so i can go to the power bi desktop and this is just a power bi instance without anything in the data so i'm going to click on get data and i'm going to search for the json data connector and click on that click on create and then we can go ahead and select the tasks data from planner.json and then this is going to be automatically connected to and then we can see the data in the power bi power query absolutely cool so we have all of this data and then we can see the name task data to power bi that's cool now the data is actually connected to my download so i'm going to click on this source get icon and then i can change this from this my drive to the url and i'm going to paste that and click ok so we can see we now have the dynamic url which is connected to our sharepoint site absolutely cool now i'm going to scroll down and then i can see the last step at the bottom changed type so click on that now for some unknown reason this is going to create some duplicate um task for me but that's no problem i'm going to quickly uh, scroll to the right a little bit and i want to look for this value title so i'm going to right click on it and then remove duplicates okay so now we have 11 tasks that is in our planner so when you come back here and i come here I can see this is one and when you count down this is going to be 11 anyway for now so i'm going to come to the power bi power query and we have all the 11 tasks so now we don't need many of the metadata columns so we need title and i'm going to scroll to the right and we need the percentage of complete so i'm going to hold down the control key and select the column on contiguously so click on this and then we also need the start um, date time and then we need the due date time and let me scroll to the right i think that's the columns we need so i can right click on these and remove other columns so we don't need other metadata column and then we can just tidy things up by renaming so i'm going to call this one um, task and press enter and i'm going to call this one percent of complete and press enter and we're going to call this one start date so i'm going to call this one end date and i'm going to press enter okay cool so we can see because you know we have one task that is already marked as completed we can see a hundred percent so when i come back here and i scroll to the very bottom we can see we have the monitor cash flow which is now 100 percent so this is the um, 100 percent here now i'm going to create a custom column so i'm going to create i'm going to call this one um, status or let me call this one a uh, progress not status and i'm just going to use the if function so i'm going to say if uh, let me move this to the right so if the percent of completion is equal to zero then we want to return um, not started and i can use the health if the percent of completion is equal to 5050 then we want to return in progress and then we can use the health the last condition is 100 so i'm going to type in inside double code um, completed okay we're going to use this in our calculation in the power bi front side so click on okay and then everything is dynamic and i can change this type to a proper text data type so i can go ahead and close and apply okay so our data is now in power bi so now i'm going to quickly create a measure so i just want to call this one a total task and i'm going to use the count rows to count all the rows in the 
task data to power bi table press enter and we have the measure i'm going to just display this as a scalar value in a card visual so for now we have 11 tasks and i want to come back here so i want to grab the task and let me just create um a card here or let's just do a slicer i'm going to turn this to the old slicer so that we can be able to filter okay and we want to create a table so we have the task and let's just use uh the okay let's use the okay the percent of complete and let's drop it in and turn it back to a table or a matrix and what is fine okay all right there we go so we can see we have the monitor cash flow which is of course 100 percent completed and then we have all of these 50 50 which are in progress so i can filter can you see we have the 50 50 for the in progress not started we can see only two tasks are not started and then for the complete one is completed now i'm going to quickly come back here and i'm going to mark this generate expense report as completed so i'm going to turn it to completed you can see the name generate expense reports and come back here and now this might take some couple of moments in order for you to see the changes let me just get rid of the filter for now and i can click on this refresh amazing so we can see generate expense report is now showing as 100 percent because this is now completed absolutely cool now let's quickly come back now don't forget we have the initial flow which is actually building a task dynamically from excel which is on the one drive to the planner so i'm going to come here so this is the same file used in the last video now i'm going to quickly just add this track loan repayment so i'm going to click on this and i can run this business and tax flow we executed in the last video so click on the run and i'm going to just type the name abiola and for the due date let's just say this is going to be due in on the 15th of uh, may 2025 click on the run click on done and this should execute instantaneously come back here i can come to the planner oh no i'm going to come here or oh, let, let's come to this place first and i can go back to the my flows and i can open the business task and let's see the latest so you can see this just coming in about 16 seconds ago so this is working fine and then when i come here i can get rid of this i can refresh this my task and when i refresh we should be able to see track loans rep repayments and payments so we can see track loan payments so this is now within our planner now we can go to the power bi and check this out so i'm going to come to the power bi again i'm going to click on the refresh and this might take some couple of moments which uh they go this is actually very fast this time around so we can see 12 so it's increased to 12 and then we can see track loan payments at the bottom so absolutely cool i'm going to mark that as um, in progress so when i choose in progress and i come to the power bi everything is so instantaneous so just watch out for this track loan repayment i'm going to refresh so when i refresh let's see what happened we should be ah there we go it does increase to 50. so we can see that everything is actually working so dynamically so this is how we can load data from planner into our power bi for further analysis thank you for watching and please make sure you subscribe to this channel because there's a lot to come thank you once again bye for now